What's up guys? Ryan here with Tweak My Device. I've got a Droid 3 here and I'm going to show you how to bootstrap into recovery, make a Nandroid, and then we're going to we're going to install Steel Droid 3.0. As you can see, we're on the 56.890 system version. If you're not on this system version, you need to upgrade to it first before applying this ROM. So I'm already rooted. You can see super user there. The ROM file is actually going to go on the internal SD card. So let's go ahead and connect for mass storage. Okay, so here's our internal SD card, the one labeled MOT, and the removable disk is your external storage card. Make sure you have hash codes Droid 3 Bootstrapper on your storage card, your external storage card. Check the link under this video to download this APK. Once that's there, you can close this. Here's the Steel Droid 3 ROM that we just downloaded. Without unzipping it, just copy it and paste it in there to your internal card. Okay, there's the ROM, no errors. We can close this. Now the rest of this can be done on the phone. Let's disconnect mass storage. Just go ahead and unplug. Make sure you go to settings, applications, and check unknown sources. Using your file explorer, just navigate to your external storage card, and we're going to tap to install the bootstrapper. Great. We can open that. When you first bootstrap, you'll get a super user request message. Allow that. Success. And we'll reboot into recovery. Very good. This is what you want. This is your clockwork recovery menu. You navigate using your volume up and down keys. You should first make a backup. So go to backup and restore and press the power button to select it. And choose backup at the top. Once your backup is complete and you're sure you've copied the ROM to your internal storage card, go to install zip from SD card, scroll down to choose zip from internal card, and we want this one at the bottom, SD3-3000. Select that and let it do its thing. It will take several minutes to five minutes to even ten minutes to boot up. Now that we've installed the Steel Droid 3.0 ROM, let's take a look at some of its features. I'm running Go Launcher. I've already applied that. This is the Sense Clock from the market. You can configure it in several different ways. This is a Go Launcher Twitter widget, Go Launcher Facebook widget and then the sliding go launcher dock down here so just flashing the steel droid rom won't get you that i added those things but the steel droid rom includes very convenient power toggle widgets gives you a different notification pull down background your phone dialer stays the same and your contacts Again, this app drawer is due to Go Launcher being installed. But the camera and gallery remain the same for this Steel Droid ROM. You're going to have less bloat, improved system performance, and a few convenient shortcuts with the Steel Droid ROM. We'll take a look here into settings. You see we are on 5.6.890 and still Droid 3.0. You'll notice the top bar icons are different and it's got a very neat charging animation. So if you want a stable custom ROM for your Droid 3 that closely resembles stock and doesn't cause you to lose a lot of features, 
check out the Steel Droid 3.0. It's a very good ROM. I'll provide a link below this video to get to the developer's thread. Happy tweaking and subscribe to Tweak My Device on YouTube.